What's up, Better Days? Today we're on the Caney Fork River. It's day two of our camping trip, and it's the afternoon. We're gonna do some fishing before sunset. We've got Don Lottie and Reese already sitting out here. The place is packed with people. It's a uh, Saturday, Memorial Day weekend, and there's just tons of people everywhere. Back here behind us on the bank, up here in front of us, kayaking down the river, this place is packed out. We're camping, our campsite's right up there, you can see it right on the other side of those trees, on my friend Bubba's property. Appreciate you letting us stay out here, it means a lot to me. We're staying on private property. This isn't somewhere you can just come and camp. It's not a campsite, it's not a campground. It's just roughing it on our friend's property. Thanks again, buddy. I'm gonna go out here with a worm and a Ned rig and see if I can't catch some trout. There, there's, there's a bunch of them in here. We just gotta go after them. There's so many people out here, there's boats out here. <laughs> hey guys. He just noticed a monster trout. I seen him point at it. He was freaked out, I'm sure. There's some big ones in here. How y'all doing? Good. All right. Did you catch yeah, we've done pretty well. I got nothing to do. Oh well, you're not fishing. I'm trying. <laughs> we gave him about a quarter mile back. All right. You are. <laughs> I thought. Oh look, look, they're tracing it. Okay, rooster tail. They're chasing it. I had some bites, and they chased it. All the way up here. You gonna blow your fish whistle? Oh, I mean, is it cold? Hey guys, how's it going? All right. Fantastic weekend. Yeah, we've caught several. Um, let's see, thirty-five. Got him. And Lottie got a, oh, a trout on a rooster tail. Not very. Yep, I see him. Yeah, man, he smashed it. Smash that rooster tail. You can just watch him take it. Should we try to save this? It ain't gonna live. Not until tonight. Not until tonight. We want some of these for bait fish. But it's a little too early still. No. I'll show you what I did. I didn't, I wasn't doing anything. This is what I did. I threw it out here and I held it like this. See how I'm just holding it against the current and it's flipping? Yep, 
Sturgeon, right here. I'm right on top of him. I got him right here. It's right here. Right there. It's a nice one. All right. We're gonna have lunch number two and we threw a line out, let it sit on bottom. Looks like Don Lottie's got one. What is it, a trout? Oh, a drum, okay, cool. Need a Frito. So we click another that's 39 fish on the weekend cool man it was the bell jingling no, yeah. not, not not terribly much he was okay. nibbling at it yeah you can tell he's probably sucking he, he got hooked pretty like good a... right in the mouth nice right. fish like oh, there we go. that's a bite we're getting a bite hold on leave it let him eat how's it going Too. Yeah, I don't think so. I hope not. With the whole area locked down. We kept over here. Next is dead tree right here. Look, it's hitting. It's just so subtle, it's not ringing a bell. B E W E W R U N Beer Run. You remember that one, right? Really? B E W E W R U N beer run. Look at this, guys. Look at the May snow falling. This is ridiculous. Absolutely so insane. <laughs> Don Lottie's all masked up. We have May snow, you guys. This is nuts. We're like in a snow globe. Found the main source of all of our May snow. It's coming from right here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That's ridiculous. There's so much of it piled up on this side of the hill. Look at all that. It's like it's like literally snow. All right, about to do a little lunch. We got some all beef hot dogs and some cheeseburgers. It's pretty much what we've been eating today for the last couple of days. It's been fantastic too. <laughs> Somebody with an umbrella hat. That's freaking awesome. Look, an umbrella hat. That's freaking awesome. We found this geode. It's pretty sweet. It's got some green in it right there. It's really crystalled up. It's nice. We smashed, re-smashed it open with a big old rock. Let him eat. He's eating. He's on. He's on. It's heavy. He ain't doing nothing right now. It ain't doing nothing right now. The drag is set all the way down tight though, so all you gotta do is stick him. <clears throat> he ain't doing nothing right now. Yeah. Sit it back down. It was chewing on it, wasn't it? All right, Reese coming back. We just got two more clicks on. He said, "You got a, you got those trout in the bucket." Yep. Sweet. How many fish we got so far? Forty-two, forty-two fish on the weekend so far. Well, forty-two fish the whole trip right here. Yep, so far we've been here. Oh, about twenty-four hours. We've been here about ten minutes. You gonna do it? <laughs> Not right now. If you ain't gonna do it now, you're never gonna do it. This is as hot as it's gonna be right here. All right, we've got a couple of trout. 
for bait for tonight. Reese caught there up in the bucket. I'm gonna try to get us a couple of little smallmouth bass to go with that. There is no legal size limit for bass in the state of Tennessee unless otherwise specific, you know, specifically mentioned for a body of water. Like Priest has sizes for largemouth, oh, smallmouth and spotted. And it's like that on several other lakes, but where we're at on the river here, there are no special regulations, it's just state regulations. And that means five black bass, any combination, any size. So we can catch a good six inch or seven incher and we can throw that on for bait tonight. Got him. Perfect. Six inch smallmouth bass. Exactly what I wanted. We're gonna use him for bait. Some people may not like that, but you gotta stay within regulations. That's my guy right there. Nice little legal smallmouth. got one. Looks like a bluegill. It is. A little drum. A little drummer boy. He's a rough fish, sir. But he'll do. That's good striper bait. It ain't the best. It ain't a skipjack herring. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I wish I could catch a bunch of skipjacks. But this will have to do. We'll get some bait. Missed one. Oh, I missed him again. He had it twice. There's one. Got him. Good fish. Oh, that's a big bass. That ain't a tiny bass. Good one. What? 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 I think it's just a smallmouth, but yeah, it's just a smallmouth, but man, it's a strong one. He touched the boat, ow, and he cut me. Oh, he is lively, you guys. This thing is on fire. <laughs> he is going crazy, dude. Cool, that's a big one. He's way too big for bait. I'm just gonna go ahead and click him on the counter, throw him back. Now we're up to uh, 45 fish on the weekend. All right, I'm gonna head upstream and try to catch a couple trout for bait for this evening. We got us a small, small mouth and a little drum and Reese has a couple of trout. I'd really rather just have live trout. Whole live rainbow trout. Go try to get a couple. Great spot to hang out right here. I think we'll just kind of lean against this and throw a worm right out there. See if we can't get us a trout.
There we go. That's pretty good right there. Oh, let's not go over that point. There we go. Yeah. This is just a number six eagle claw bait holder hook and the night crawler. I've got two split shots about a foot above this. This is six pound Berkeley Trilene smooth casting monofilament. And there's the two split shots. All right, that was afternoon number two. We are out here kicking it, camping, and we've got everything set up for a good night. We've got a big rod. We're gonna throw out some heavy sinkers and some live bait. We've got that little old bass that I just caught and that drum. But Reese also caught a couple of trout that are in there. Those are perfect. They look great. We've got them in the bubble box in the live well. So they're good to go. <clears throat> this is um, Betty's Island right here. So, you know, like I said earlier, this is private property. We're hanging out. Thanks to my buddy, Bubba. Appreciate you. So, you can't necessarily just come out here and camp. It's, it's, it's private property. You just got to keep that in mind. But it's a really cool spot. You can come out anytime, any day and do some fishing. I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.